Rise and Shine Value Farm family, welcome back to another episode of The Farm. If you're new here, you are most welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells on not to miss out on any videos on this channel. And of course, to all our returning subscribers, thank you so much. You guys are gems. We really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for loving Value Farm. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you so much for being part of the family. Yes, we are back at the farm and it's really so beautiful being at the farm, seeing whatever is happening, seeing the progress of the farm and also being part of every activity that is really happening at the farm. So we are here at this beautiful modern raised goat house. As you can see, I know most of you have seen this house before, but what I can really tell you guys, it is really worth the investment that we put in here because the goats are doing well, the kids are doing perfect, everything is just doing amazing. So today one highlight that I really wanted to update you guys on was about the kids. We have very amazing kids here in this house already. And the beauty is we try to really separate them, guys. We separated the kids from the mothers because whenever the mothers are going to feed later on, they remain behind. And we also let them, you know, be on their own. They also play with one another. They play with the other kids. Then they also go outside exercising and all that. So I wanted to show you guys so that you can also see how they look like, how the crosses look like, how the boas, the pewas also look like so that you can get a difference. So any farmer out there in case you really want to start a goat farm you're inspired and you're just wondering which breeds should i go with come let's come and check out this so that you can see what is really happening so that you can pick an idea guys So guys, yeah, we are in the goat house. I know most of you have been really wondering and also wanted to know how the goats are in their new structures. You know, we've been, been buying so many goats like from different farms. And of course we have quarantined all of them before we brought them to this house. So most of them are already together in their partitions, in their, you know, respective places that they are in. And the house is still a bit empty. That means that the house was really worth the size for the goats that we really for the numbers that we wanted in this particular house but let me take you guys around so that you can also see what actually is happening in this goat house so that you can also have an idea but we separated them according to the sizes we separated them the mothers the males are also in their own paddocks as well that i'm going to show you so come along with me so that i can show you the kids are right here, but let me get into their, their section so that you can also see how these kids look like. By the way, these kids are less than two weeks. All the kids that you're seeing here are less than two weeks. So let me show you guys. Let me come along. Thank you so much, Okumo. So guys, I remember on my stories, I showcased there as a kid that was just three days old. This is the one here. This is the guy. <laughs> He's now one week old, guys. One week old and about two days. See how big it is. So whenever you're investing in goats, whenever you're going to buy your goats, whenever you want to start a, a breeding program, then you're going to trust like the boas, the savannas. So this one, as you can see, it is so heavy. Guys, this is going to be another king in the palace. <laughs> this is just one week and two or three days old, to be sure. This big guy here, you can see. Guys, it's so heavy. Whew. So you can really see, this is like a pure boa that we have here. Then we also have a newly born baby this morning that was born is also so huge let me show you guys let me pick it up it's right here it's a female this one here was born this morning guys guys what do you think about it <laughs> do you know the joy of a farmer getting the best breeds getting the quality quality breeds this is what it means 
So this one here, you see they're really climbing. The kids are really so friendly. This is going to be a huge one and it's a female. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with the investment. I'm really so happy with what breeds that we brought to the farm because it's really worth it. So if you're a farmer out there, if you're a beginner, if you're starting your farm and you wanted to start, please mind about the breeds that you are going to stock at your farm because the investment is really going to be worth it. So you can imagine this one here. It's not going to spend so much and it will be ready to go. And you definitely also benefit from whatever you invested into the goats that you have. Then we also have some crosses I should really share with you. So this one here is roughly also like two weeks or coming to two weeks. But what you have to know, this is also a cross. This is a cross boa. That's how it, how it looks like. It's also a big one and I know it is going to be a good breed for the farm. So for the breeders out there, my dears, you're going to benefit. So I was just so excited to show you guys and also share with you guys these amazing cuties that we brought. This one here. Oh, sorry. This one here, guys. This one is now two weeks. Hey! Are you seeing? It's a female. Two weeks old. Two weeks and some few days, I think. It meant a few days according to the records. But guys, when we tell you guys invest in good breeds, this is what it means. This one just likes climbing, climbing and climbing. That's how they're very happy goats here. They like hopping around. They like climbing. Which is really so good, guys. I'm so happy. So leave your comments down below what you think about these goats, what you think about these little kids here that we have at the farm so far. There are quite a number of them, but I'm just happy. And also to share with you updates, to also encourage people out there who want to start goats, but they're scared. Do not buy the local, local breeds. If you have a local, please cross it at least to improve on your, on your breeds at the farm. That's how you improve your stock. Because by the way, the pure ones may not be very, may not be very cheap. So what you can do is to only improve the ones that you have. Because most times you can't just sell off if you have so many of them, like so many Mubendes, you have so many locals. The best thing is for you to is to get a good boa so that you can be able to serve the locals that you have so that you can get better breeds that really grow faster. That is going to really help you yield returns on investment. That is going to be much, much better. Well, let me share with you guys another section. Who doesn't want friendly goats? Are your goats also friendly? Oh, you can explain. Because goats at Valley Farm are very friendly goats. They climb, they don't get scared. They're just very, very lovely goats. That's why we say that whenever you invest in good breeds, you are going to benefit. Whew. So guys, let me show you. Hey, these ones are still climbing. <laughs> so guys, let me show you another section. This is just for these kids that I wanted to share with you guys. We have also the little ones that are processed. But at least the genetics has been improved here. So the mothers, by the way, these are the kids. The mothers are right here. <laughs> they were just already, we had already fed them. That's why we separated them already. So we are waiting for the, um, we are waiting for the, for the sun to come out so that the mist or dew can be able to get off the grass and we take them outside. So the mothers are here. This one's already fed already. That's why they're not even crying. Because if the kids start crying very early in the morning, that's when you realize that they're really very hungry. But they're already full. They're quiet. That's why you don't hear, you know, them grumbling. You don't hear them crying as such. That's how it is. But these are the mothers for these kids. And of course, the other section. So we have a separate section that we normally put that the kids can breastfeed from the mothers every morning. So we separate them so that they feed so well before we take them out. So let me show you guys the other goats that we brought in here so that you can have a look and also plant something today. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, we are here, of course, now with the mothers of these kids that we've just seen right now. So the beauty about these goats, what you have to know is most of them have different sections. And the sections that they're in det are determined how they go along with one another because goats also fight, goats also have their own friends. So you might be wondering, how do these goats really know where to go when they come from grazing every night? These goats know where they go. That is a bit about it. They're so brilliant, they're very bright. They know which paddock or which section they are going to go to. If one of these goes to the other side, they will keep fighting. So most of them really come to where they are very comfortable with, where they find, you know, their own friends. As a farmer, just a tip, piece of advice. As a farmer, if you start your goat farm, you need to always tag your animals, tag your goats so that you can have records of the goats, the genetics, how it has been, how it's growing. Because now if this one here gave birth, you'll be able to know its kids so that you can also avoid the inbreeding. Inbreeding is not good for a farmer because the genetic system will be destroyed and it will not be able to give you better breeds at the farm. So tag your animals, have your records in case of anything, illnesses, in case of anything you can easily track. Because sometimes some goats have genetical problems that you can easily track and maybe put them off your breeding system. That's what you have to know about it. So let me show you guys another section so that you can have an idea of what is really happening here. So guys, as you can see, we have also sections. We have the other section, the other side. Then we also have another section here. So the other side, they're a bit older. These are like middle-aged. The other ones are also like middle-aged. So these goats really separate themselves according to the sizes. And they know which places that they go to, which sections that they normally go to. So in each section, we also put in the lick salt, like you can see. Like you can see this one here, licking the salt. This one really helps them so much with drinking some water. There's one here, we have another one in that other section. So each section has two to three lick salts. The lick salts, some of you may be asking, where can I get it? You can get them from the, from the feed shops. You can go to Container Village if you're in Uganda, Kampala. You can definitely also get these lick salts here. guys i'm here with the co-director he's just he's been busy moving around showing guys around that's why you guys did not see him in the beginning of the video but just say hello to our viewers hello out everyone there. my name is gregory also known as grafton i'm a humble co-director here this is the director ah, yeah. <laughs> Come um, on. yeah we're actually standing in the goat pen and yeah we're surrounded by goats which is nice um, they're doing fine. The interesting about goats, guys, like literally when we bring these goats in after they go through the quarantine period, mm -hmm. we don't choose which home they're gonna go to. True. They, they select where they wanna live, and if one goat comes into the wrong room, They'll they're be gonna chips. get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it it's like being on a school playground and, and, and not be able to defend yourself because all the other goats will jump that specific goat that doesn't belong there. True. And once they select their home, they usually always sleep in the same place. That same place forever. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. But how, how do you feel about the goats being together in this same place, our modern raised house? I mean, the fact that they're off the ground. So let me give you guys a, a quick tidbit. Like this morning, we actually went to see some other goats, right? We were going to yeah. actually make the purchases. We reserved the goats. But when we got there, the first thing we noticed the hoof of the goat itself was curling, it was curving. It was As I rotten. told you guys before, the moment you go and inspect goats, that's one of the first things that you look for because that in itself is a sign that the goats are being kept on the ground. I understand that I might not be a doctor, but I do know goats. 
Yes. <laughs> and I do also understand that ghosts are not meant to be living on the ground long term, right? So if you are able to, you don't have to go fancy, you don't have to build something this size, you know, try to get your goats off the ground. Off the ground at, at least. At least give them a huge inhale. True. Because when they urinate, you want the urine to run away from them. They don't want to step in it. But a lot of the time, these goats are tied or they actually encircle in a place where they cannot escape True. their urine. The urine itself, as you guys know, it turns into pneumonia. They inhale it. It's not good for them internally. But particularly with their hooves, that's a no-no. So, you know, I know some of you might not agree, but that's the way that we've chosen that to we've do chosen it. That we've chosen to it, yeah. yeah. And of course you have, maybe in case you have those ones that have the, ho the hoof problem, you can always clip them off, at least cut when they're still young, so that they're in good shape. Yes. Then most of them may be asking us, how do we uh, clean? How many times do we clean our house? Daily. We clean it daily, yeah. both the, the upper bit the and also... The floors, so I'm sure as we're standing here, guys, look where we're standing. Mm -hmm. There might be a few pieces that actually might remain but when the ghosts go out to actually graze mm -hmm. we actually have four people on this rotation yes at least one person will stay behind to, to sweep mm -hmm. to also disinfect up here and of course they go underneath the house because this it's raised yeah you can get under there and actually get all the droppings which is actually gold because hey. on this farm here we don't just raise animals we also have Crops. You know, crops and uh, we know our passion fruits are growing. The tomatoes. The tomatoes are coming. <laughs> and they have like carrots, you know, the skooma, all so, those yeah. things that are growing. The soya is coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. And partly is because of the amazing mm. byproduct we get natural organic fertilizer from these goats. And not uh, yeah, and it's easy to collect them from down there. Very easy. Wow. That is so nice. Can you just tell them about your experience with the kids like how do you feel about the kids that we have so far we have monsters coming guys. <laughs> so the beauty about these kids i'm sure my partner already shared with you some of those kids are less than two weeks old they yes. look like they're three months old so it goes back them. to genetics it goes back to making sure that you know you invest but then we also understand everybody's pockets are different yeah so not everybody's going to be able to come out and spend you know, two million or three million shillings on a goat. But if you can, you should always have that goal of aspiring to get to that point. Yeah. We all have to start from somewhere. True, you know? true. As long as you know where you're starting, it's just a starting point. You know what? Investing in a farm or building a farm is just like buying your first home. True. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> it's not gonna be the last home you're gonna purchase, Lord willing. Mm -hmm. However, you know with that first purchase, you're at least no longer gonna be a first time home buyer. True. You're gonna learn from that first home. That's how you're gonna learn from your first set of goats and the experience you learn from that. You continue to get better, you continue to make better decisions, you continue to grow. And then that's pretty much it. But you have to start. That's the most important thing. Immediately. Yeah. Do not give up. Please start as long as you have something that you can well, some little capital. Yeah. Start immediately. Yeah. Another concern people have been having, asking us in all the videos that going to buy goats from yeah. Nakasongola, from Kayunga, yeah. wherever we've gone to. Mm -hmm. They're like, but what are the prices? At least the price range of these goats. So that we can have an idea. So guys, the way it works, it depends on the body score of the goat, right? So mm -hmm. if you have a goat that's actually, you know, based on the age, for example, like at times we actually purchase goats that are, that actually recently have delivered, not our preference, but sometimes that's the option that we face with, you know, they will actually allow us to pay the normal price for the mom, which could be like 300 or 350,000 shillings. Uganda shillings. Uganda shillings. But then for the kids, they will accept anywhere between like uh, 40,000 to 50,000 50, shillings. Mm -hmm. Now, if that kid is about a month and a half old, that could go up to 70,000 shillings in addition. Most move in day goes, if the person you're dealing with is being fair, mm -hmm. before that move in day is crossed, that price should be between 200 to 250,000 shillings. If it's a young goat, right? But if the goat is fully mature and based on the size of the goat, it can go as high as maybe like 300, from 275 to 300. If it's a cross, then that goat can go from at least 350 to like 375. If it's an exceptional cross that's at least 75% or beyond, then you might be looking at at least like 400, maybe 450. 50, yeah. If it's a, at least 83 to 87, 
Thank you, Lucky Stars, if you can get it for 500. <laughs> 500, 550. But there's a huge difference between yeah. buying goat retail and buying goat wholesale. Yes. If you just go in to buy one to two goat, that's considered retail. So the price will be very different for you. However, if you go there wholesale, wholesale meaning you buying at least 50 or more goats, yes. then the price can't be the same. So a goat you would typically pay like 450 for could very easily be at 300,000. Mm -hmm. You understand? And yes. the goat you would pay about 275 to 300 could go down to 200 to 225. Yeah. You know, but again, it's all based on where you go, whether or not you're dealing with an honest person, you don't want to deal with brokers, you want to go directly True. to the source, reputable breeders, reputable owners that's going to keep records, tell you the truth and make sure that, you know, in life, as I always say, you get what you pay for. What you pay for. That yeah. is so true. Then, of course, they also want to know about the pures, the price range for the pures. Well, it depends. If it's a pure female savannah, for example, it can range anywhere between 750. It can go as high as a million. As a million, yeah. 1.5. But however, boys. the males are always more pricey. More pricey, yeah. You know, most people would think, ah, I want to get into savannas. I want to get into boas. So let me get as many female boas as I can. Mm. Actually, the most impactful purchase you can make is the buck, yes. the ram. Um, because one female goat will give you one to two kids every four four months plus. Mm. A male a male boa literally can handle fifty of your females. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's best to get yourself a buck. A very good one. And then slowly work your way up to getting multiple females. True. If possible, I would say when you're first starting out, guys. It's okay to start out with the 50-50 crosses, mm -hmm. but if you have the money, spring the extra 50 to 100K to get the 75% because at that point, you know, you just need one more turn yeah. to get to above 80. 80%. Right? At that point, the growth rate is definitely faster. The quality of the meat itself changes. The overall genetics, you have a completely different species on your hand. Yes. When you go from 75 to 83 85. and ultimately mm -hmm. 87%. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That would be what I would try to aim for if I was wow. new starting out. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry. Listen, again, for the ladies out there that are actually tuning in, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you guys are going to get this reference, right? Mm. And for my brothers out there who understand that mm. shoes are just like ghosts also in yeah, okay. this way. You can go cheap, right? Those of you in New York, you can go to Payless mm -hmm. and buy five pairs of shoes with $100. <laughs> but what happened is the moment it rained, that shoe's going to fall apart on you, right? Mm -hmm. So, again, you want to literally, it's always best to go for quality mm -hmm. over quantity. Don't quantity. worry about getting 100 goats. Mm -hmm. Worry about getting the best five, the best six goats you can have in your herd. Mm -hmm. And then you start from there. True. Because, you know, whatever you get, because guess what? You can have 20 goats. You literally can have 10 goats on your farm that's worth more than 30 goats on your farm. Sure. You want to get great genetics that's going to be on your farm, that's going to be as part of your mother's stock for the long haul. Because you know what, if you have a good, a good female goat and a good male goat on your farm, they can be with you for 7 plus even 10 years. Yes. Yeah. You understand? As long as you take care of them, as long as you make sure you look after them the right way, the same way. You wouldn't want to wear your fine leather or your suede jacket to the rainforest. You make <laughs> sure you, you be careful with your flock. You take care of them, they'll take care of you in return. That is so true. And so, you know, we always preach to you guys, yes, you go with your pocket. But if you have a dream, I know a lot of you out there, when it comes time for you guys to go clubbing, when it comes time for you, you guys spend. to go partying, <laughs> when it's time to go on the all-girls vacation trips or the all-boys vacation, you guys go all out, popping bottles. But this is for your future. Exactly. If you're going to get that iPhone every year, right, you can find a way to save the money to get yourself a premier emperor on your farm. Whether that's a male Savannah Ram or a male on the farm, that will impact your flock for the better for years to come. Ladies and gents, you know, being in farming is a choice. Sometimes you're going to make the choice and sometimes the Lord is going to make the choice. But ultimately, you have to take the first step. So you know what? This is the time. This is the place. That's it. That's all I have for you. I hope wow. you guys enjoy the content today. I know. Right? Make <laughs> sure you share with your friends, mm -hmm. right? And hopefully, you know, 
we've said something that might have triggered that inner farmer and all of you out there. Wow. Uh, so I have for you guys today. What I was gonna say, mm -hmm. I know my partner always said you guys to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> yes. You know what? You should tell a friend to tell a friend. And for those of you who have your side dishes out there, hey. Okay, you should share this information <laughs> with them. It's gonna show that you care. That you care right? for them as well. <laughs> <laughs> your co-workers your friends everybody you know because you know sharing is caring is caring so. yeah wow thank you so much thank you we appreciate the energy the motivation that you give to us the morale the ghost give the go i get the energy from the from ghost the <laughs> <laughs> Having all these numbers, I think we are really so proud of ourselves. I'm proud of our fans. I'm proud our of our team. supporters. I'm proud of our staff here. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys work so hard and we're so grateful for the staff that we have. And of course, I'm very proud of you because listen, I know you guys found my partner here mm -hmm. on BNT. That part of the history will always persist. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This lady went from corporate, the corporate world to a full-time farmer, hardcore. <laughs> You know, Poor you should one. see this girl in the bush. <laughs> Sometimes we don't want to show you her feet because they're so dusty. <laughs> but that's a mark of hard work and dedication. You and we too. Appreciate it. No, no, we're talking about you right now. Okay, okay. I'm giving you your flowers because okay, thank you. without you, without your dedication, your hard work and sacrifice, mm -hmm. we would not be here. Not many people will give up an air-conditioned office mm -hmm. in Uganda, in Kampala to be out here in the bush, okay? Doing what we're doing. So wow. thank you very much. You've done a wonderful job. You've actually inspired me in ways you will never understand. So for that, thank you. Oh my God, I am speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I am really speechless, but I'm really so grateful for that. And of course, I'm more than grateful for you. You know that. I know everyone knows that, realizes the hard work that you put in. Someone was even like, we get messages, people saying, oh my God, I can't imagine. Greg in the bushes, like I'm from America. <laughs> American in the bushes, how? Honestly, a lot of my friends from back home, mm. until I actually did a, a live tour of the farm, mm. did not believe I would leave, you know, corporate America to do this. And the friends back home, what I said to them, why not do this, right? Mm. Because if I'm going to work 15 hours for somebody, that somebody better be me and my team. Yeah. Because I spent almost 20 years of my life giving everything I could to corporate America. I figured if I'm going to play the remainder of my life, whatever part the good Lord have for me left on this planet, I was going to give myself, my family, my team the best I can give. And that's your time. I remember, I'll leave you guys with this, right? Mm -hmm. My mom and my dad used to always share this. My mom is no longer with us. May God bless her soul. I'm sure she's in heaven looking over this farm and making Happy sure that we're you. doing okay, right? Mm. But I remember the most impactful thing my dad told me with my mom. I lost my shoe, couldn't find it. I was so frustrated. I looked everywhere. And I was around like nine years old. I was so upset, I started crying. And I remember my dad pulling me over and saying, you know what, boy? Everything you lose, it's actually just misplaced, it's not really lost. But the one thing you can never replace is time. And I give corporate America enough of my time. And I wanted to make sure the time that I have left on this planet, I wanted to do something that will, number one, help people, leave a legacy of excellence, and actually build something with our hands, with our hard work and determination. Oh, wow. And I'm so happy that every single day when I wake up, whether it's 3 50, 4 o'clock in the morning, I wake up with such glee, ready to come here because this is our company. This is our family. And as a family man, as a family woman, as my partner here, you guys out there know you'll do anything necessary to take care of your family. That is and true. so, from that perspective, this is easy because I love this. Oh, wow. It's not work, it's my passion. That is everything anyone can really <laughs> wish for guys this is really amazing we are really so proud of you with Thank the you. energy the efforts that you've really put here you know you don't even go back home most of the time you've been in the country for a long time without seeing family back home sacrifices must sacrifice be made. sacrifice yeah. guys yeah. he's really sacrificed so much for everything you're seeing here in the next few weeks you know you guys will probably see me 
you know, not here on camera, but believe me, every day my work will always be done no be matter here. where I am mm. to make sure I'm supporting the team here. Yeah. But I'll be back shortly. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate you. Like, I'm really speechless. That's what I would say. <laughs> because you've literally said everything that everyone could really wish to have on their own. Someone would really wish to also do in their farms as well so whatever you're seeing here other farm that got you're seeing here it's about sacrifice it's about you know investment as long as you have good investment you're going to get returns on it so guys also have our social media platforms that you can always yeah. follow us on we have an instagram page that is value farm uganda then we also have a page on facebook that is value farm as well uganda you can follow us there because we shall be updating some things that you may not see on videos like the behind the scenes our staff everything that we are doing at the farm so you can go out and follow us the pictures of maybe the kids who have already posted a few pictures there you can definitely go and see the progress and see and also get motivated on, on social media as well so Follow us there in case you want to support the channel. We also have our Patreon account that you can easily go to and also support. We have a membership platform where you can become a member. On the, on the channel, you're going to see join. Just click on the join button, then you different. You definitely see how you can become part of the member and also support Value Farm. Then we also have our PayPal account in case you want to support us, please. Do the needful because you're part of the family and i know most of you really want to appreciate what we are doing appreciate our knowledge but you have no way of doing so so you can all, always go to those platforms and also support value farm yeah guys subscribe subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend i have to emphasize we're on a road to 100k subscribers yeah. do not forget to recommend to your friends because we need our family to be big and better and we want to share all this informative content with everyone and also share the knowledge with so many people we don't want to be selfish with ourselves to you know keep everything to ourselves share the knowledge because we need to become a better future yeah guys till next time bye bye